back my friends to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best things that you can do in Fallout 4 to increase your armor rating by a substantial amount and this of course is without the use of power armor this is going to be on your generic armor rating and the different things you can do and combine together uh, to have the armor rating at a really high damage resistance and as you can see here right now uh, my default damage resistance is 338 with an energy resistance of 356 and believe it or not my fedora alone that little hat that i'm wearing gives me 110 damage resistance and 110 energy resistance which alone is freaking insane to have and just a small piece of clothing like a fedora now some of you guys out there may already know what this is but for those of you who don't this is known as Ballistics Weave. Now, once again, I just made this video just for those of you out there who don't know this, uh, just to try and help as many of you guys out there as I can in Fallout. So, what is Ballistics Weave? Well, it's actually a unlockable modification that you can have on your armor after completing a certain quest line. This quest line is with the railroad. Now, quick disclaimer, you do not have to join the railroad to complete this quest line. You can simply complete the quest line that I'm going to be talking to you guys about, and then afterwards you can join any faction that you wish to. Now, the quest line begins when you find the railroad headquarters, or essentially when you follow the freedom trail, which then leads you to the railroad headquarters. If you don't know how to do that, there will be a link down in the description down below and a quick way on how you do that. Upon making your way to the railroad headquarters, you should then be given a quest known as Tradecraft. Upon completing Tradecraft, you'll then be given another quest known as Boston After Dark. And upon completing that, you'll then move on to a quest from Dr. Carrington known as Butcher's Bill. Once you've completed this one, you'll then move on to Pam Quest, which is the main one that you want to find. And uh, basically from Pam, she will give you a quest known as Mercer Safe House. Then after you complete that, you should be given the main quest we are looking for here, which is the Jackpot Quest. Now, this may be a little bit different for you. This ended up being, for me, Jackpot Ruined Skyscraper. Now, all it is that's different is the location that you have to go to. And it will ultimately always be the same in the fact that you will always have to secure the DIA cash from whatever location that it gives you. Now, this quest is fairly simple. You just have to go to the location, clear out the area, then secure the DIA cash once again, some very simple stuff. And when you complete this quest line and report back and then eventually go ahead and speak to Tinker Tom in the railroad, he will talk to you about ballistic vests. And when he talks to you about ballistic vests, you are pretty much done at that point. You now have the ballistic vest option available when upgrading certain pieces of clothing. Now, the best way to make the most of this is to have your armor or perk completely maxed out. That alone will make it so that you know you can get that to the maximum potential that it has. And what this does is it adds an armor rating to certain pieces of clothing that have no armor rating at all. So for instance, the dirty army fatigues that I wear naturally or normally, um, and the reason why I wear these is because they do offer a plus one to strength and a plus one to agility, they have no armor rating at the moment. But when I apply the ballistic weave upgrade to the max that it can go, it adds a 110 damage resistance and a 110 energy resistance to this piece of clothing alone not to mention the other things that can go alongside this for instance there's also a selection of hats that you can wear and um, one of them is the battered fedora which i will give you the location of everything that i'm wearing in the video uh, shortly uh, uh, towards the end of the video but basically you can also apply this again to certain hats so for instance for my fedora uh, when i apply the ballistic weave upgrade to the max another 110 damage resistance and 110 energy resistance so just alone for me wearing the dirty army fatigues and the fedora i get 220 damage and energy resistance but here's the best part about it because you're wearing dirty army fatigues, you can also wear the normal armor that you wear, you know, just generally on top of this. So, for instance, I am going to be using heavy combat armor uh, with the polymer upgrade to it to, of course, increase that damage resistance as much as possible. And as you can see, I can apply all of this armor on top of it, increasing my damage resistance in total to 338 and 356 for energy resistance. And that, my friends... Is what ballistics weave is and the reason why i'm bringing this to you guys today is once again although some of you guys out there may already know about this for those of you who don't i want to show you guys one of the best things that you can do for your armor rating in terms of increasing it towards that damage resistance and hopefully uh this has helped you out now just to stress this does not work with every piece of clothing in the game as well as hats it'll only work 
with a specific set of clothing and hats, which I'll try and have an image of on screen right now uh, for the different types that it does work with. But for the clothing that I was using, for instance, the battered fedora, you can find one of those over at the Grey Garden Homestead. It's going to be located right here on your map. And as soon as you enter the building and take a right and look straight down at the table, there you will find the battered fedora. Now for the dirty army fatigues and near to a full set of heavy combat armor, which is just great armor to have, uh, especially if you fully upgrade it, you can head over to Hub City Auto Wreckers. Now I know that you can get these types of clothing anywhere really just by playing the game, uh, but these are the specific locations that you can go to just in case you may be missing a piece or something. So for the Dirty Army Fatigues, there's going to be a bunch of raiders around. One of them should have at least the Dirty Army Fatigues on them. And uh, for the Heavy Combat Armor, this is going to be on Captain Bridget who is on the bridge. Now you want to be careful when you know approaching this woman because she has a fat man and she definitely is not afraid to use it. So just be careful and make sure that you do take her out without, you know, dying to that fat man. And uh, she will have what is near to a full set or she may have a full set for you of the heavy combat armor. And of course, if you're missing a piece, just try and fill it out for now uh, until you find maybe the other piece for it. But when fully upgrading the heavy combat armor with the polymer upgrade, getting that damage resistance to its max, mixed in with the dirty army fatigues, you know, of course, with the ballistic sweep and the uh, fedora with the ballistics weave this is how you get the armor rating that you guys are seeing in the video so once again hopefully you have found this out for today or at least did enjoy the video uh, if you did guys be sure to leave a like on the video your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel subscribe if you guys are new around for content similar to this and i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video peace out